everyone, welcome back to the channel, James Charmack here. So, you got like 25 bucks or so, you're going on Amazon, looking up like the Kiryu uh, figure, or from whatever, Godzilla, and you have like many choices. We're going to look at a couple today, Might be, I don't know what it's necessarily going to be a versus video, but uh, we're going to take a look at, it, at them both does the same. We have the uh, movie uh, monster series of one heavy armored from... Uh, Tokyo SOS, and we have the 2002 uh, Godzilla action figure set. Uh, just came out, so we're only going to both, and you know, maybe help you decide which one you want to get. So both figures are going to come shipped as they are. You know, that's what, obviously your uh, movie monster series do not have boxes; they just have uh, this little tag on there. There's debate whether you want to keep the tag or not. I'm going to start keeping the tags. And as the Monsters figure set, we have a box, you know, nice energy display in the front. Little Godzilla picture on the bottom. Not a Godzilla on the bottom there. Godzilla on the top. Picture of Kiryu on the side. On the back, the two figures we have so far, we've already done Godzilla. If you want to, you know, go back and take a look at that review, let me you know, go on ahead. And we're going to get that one today on the back. Just Mike Godzilla. And uh, there you go. So uh, let's uh, take this one out of the box and take a look at him. So uh, this figure it comes in a few pieces, whereas the uh, final one comes already together. So we'll just put this together a little bit. That tail's gonna be a little bother, isn't it? But we're gonna put them together and see how it goes. Yeah. Tail's going on there. So, you know, it's not, otherwise, it's not too difficult. Just a little snap and pop and snap in. And there you go. So, we have your two uh, Mega Godzilla figures together. Uh, I will say right off the bat, I think, I personally think that the uh, vinyl one looks a bit better. Just... The paint job is more metallic, more shiny. This looks more metallic plastic. I mean, I guess a plastic figure, but you know, probably you know, get a splurge on the f on the uh, chrome a little bit. It's definitely more detail going on, like around the chest and whatnot. This is pretty smooth. On the leg, you can obviously you know see like wires and parts. You can see them, but they they don't really stick out as much. And uh, you know. It's probably, I don't know, probably because of the paint job, I think it just makes, like, detail stand out just a little bit more. There's some detail, but just looks kind of, you know, kind of washed out, I guess. I don't know. Head doesn't look too bad on that one, but, you know, the head looks better on here. So I'm kind of surprised that there's a bit more detail on the vinyl one than there is on the, uh, on, your, on the figure set one, but it is what it is, I guess. So your vinyl one doesn't come with any accessories. The uh, heavily armored additions are just put on already, so sculpted in, so you can't really take them out. The uh, figure set one has a removable jaw, bottom jaw. Take it out. And you can put in this one, so you have the uh, maser laser action. There's a little ball joint in the mouth where you can just pop it in and just make him, you know, zap a whatever. So at least it has, you know, has a decent uh, accessory, I suppose. So articulation-wise, your uh, movie monster series never really has that much. Obviously, he can turn his head, move his arms up, back, up and down. No articulation at the legs. No foot. No nothing. And the tail can turn at the one joint at there, so not too much. But your uh, figure set here, as like I said before, the jaw can open and close. Head doesn't turn, but the neck can turn all around and bend in a few directions. Well, you can't really turn around, it's kind of tight, so you probably can, but doesn't really want to do it. Arm goes up about that far, all the way around. Uh, Bend at the elbow, 
a little bit of rotation at the elbow looks like wrist rotation back and forth okay so kind of want to be careful with the legs because the ball joint's kind of picky can only go about that far that ball joint popped out Move forward and back that far uh, bend at the knee rotation and back and forth at the ankle one two uh, articulation points at the tail so that uh, little figure set has a bit more than the uh, vinyl one of course get that out of the way and for size comparison for both I pulled out the um, older uh, Bandai vinyl uh, Godzilla Millennium and I pulled out the uh, Godzilla other figure from the figure set we've already done and Kiryu here is a little bit shorter he's a little bit shorter than that so, and this one's only measuring about five inches. This one's measuring about six, maybe six and a quarter. So, you know, depending on, you know, which one you want for size, you want a smaller one or you want a bigger one, it's up to you, I suppose. Okay, so I dig them both. I like the uh, vinyl one a little bit better. I think it just stands out a little bit more. Uh, as I stated in the previous video, I think this line, of this line, the, uh, action figure set line is more supposed to compete or you know be along the same lines as your playmates but a little bit better obviously since they didn't grant playmates the uh, license to continue with the Toho universe I think they you know Bandai shifted around to you know work on you know these kind of action figures and you know I do like that I do dig that I think they are a little bit a bit better than uh, the playmates figures obviously if you've seen my videos, you want to know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so uh, the vinyl ones, the price varies sometimes. This one costs about 20 bucks. I think the uh, Santa one probably costs, the standard carry you sent costs a little bit more. The uh, figure sets cost around 25 bucks, but still, you know, pretty worth it, pretty cool. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I am happy that you know they didn't grant Playmates license and they could like muck this guy up. So it is what it is, right? So, uh, but you know, it's up to you. Which one do you guys like? Which one do you want to buy? It's up, you know, you got the money, you want to buy a Mecha God. So, which one turns your fancy? Let me know in the comments below if you like either one. If you don't like either one, let me know that too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did like this video. More videos are coming up in the near future. More figures. Not so much Godzilla figures, but, you know, Marvel Legends. I keep saying that. I don't get to it, but we'll get to them. Uh, that's some, you know, that have been in the collection for a, a long time. We gotta, you know, knock down some waves. Gotta make some space, and we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, the usual stuff, guys. If you liked the video, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for subscribing. Got a couple more subscribers since the last video. I appreciate it. So, you guys, hopefully, you guys like what I'm doing. Even, you know, hope you guys, you know, are not just Godzilla fans, are just like, you know, nerd pop culture fans, you know, so you can watch, see other videos. Thank you guys. Anyways, uh, so this is James Charmat from the Nerd Room with J&J, &J, and as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.